How's it going everybody? It's Linkmeister Patrick here, back with some more Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition for the PC. Let's get back to it. This is this is all we have left. Just figuring out what's happening here. Oh, there's our character. Oh, and she's like none of her colors are there. You have failed to listen to Commandant Steele. I've warned you time and again, yet you persist on ignoring my orders. The contents of the vault are rightfully the property of the Atlas Corporation. But you <laughs> you belong to me. What? I don't even know what that means. Yeah, okay. So there were only three pieces. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were going to play as steel for a second there. That would have been crazy. Just the, like, camera angle made it look like it was like a second person, whatever. Oh! Yes, the key works. Sergeant, get your team ready to go inside. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, what was her siren power, I wonder? Okay, well. I like how it's a giant vault symbol, though. That's fun. The destroyer. This is the final boss, actually. Don't give up. This creature may be immortal in its own realm, but in this reality, it cannot survive without a host, and that makes it vulnerable. When it becomes flesh and blood, it can be hurt, even killed. You just need to know where to aim. Yeah, uh, I think I aim for the giant eye. Okay, well, don't know what the heck just happened there. Um, let's try this gun. 4,000. That's a good amount of damage, right? I think, I feel like I want the faster shooting one. Let's try that. Maybe. I don't know. This guy takes a lot of damage. Um, I don't need this gun, I don't think. But the question is, what would do better? I don't know. Maybe another sniper? I have no clue. Um, just reload, I guess. Oh, getting hit by those things again. Ah. There's a lot of them, whatever they are. Okay. Going somewhere. Don't know where that went. Uh, okay. Not quite sure what to make out of all this. Such a weird fight. Uh, those are the things, though. Okay, well, that's done. Um, yeah, let's use our sniper ammo on his eye. Seems like the best option. Yooey. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a matter of... Uh, War of attrition, you know? Just kind of shoot what you can. Aim for that eye. Try not to hit anything else. Because that eye is the critical spot. And, uh... Are these critical spots? Oh, yeah. Those are their own kind of critical spots. Well, we'll hit those too, then. I feel like this is using a lot of my sniper ammo. And... I don't know. Maybe it's better to use the more damage. And just... Even though it shoots slower. Because, uh... You know... If this... If this is going to be one of those, like... He has tons of ammo... Tons of health... Not tons of ammo. There's tons of health, so something's happening. Oh, is he trying to shoot me? I'm not sure what's going on. But this gun has eventually unlimited ammo. Uh, who knows how long it'll take to get my ammo back, but probably would have liked to get uh... Oh, what is... Oh, that doesn't look good. I'm just gonna stay here. Is there ammo somewhere in this area? Maybe? I don't know. I really don't want to run around and find out. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just like Keep shooting him in the eye. Don't waste ammo that you can avoid wasting. These guys. Seems like it's important that I keep my SMG ammo, just kill those things. But, uh, come on. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm really low on sniper ammo. Just gonna close his eye, open it up. Just keep shooting. Just like trying to get through this as best I can. I don't know if he's shooting like a big laser whenever he does that. Oh, yes, he is. Sure enough. Um, I think it's done. It's just listening to our audio cues there. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, those guys are back. Uh, I really don't have much ammo left. Do I have other weapons? I do. Um, do I have an assault rifle of some kind? I don't. I have these guns. Eh, might do something. Okay, well, while he charges that up, I can try to shoot these things. That's kind of doing something, maybe, right? Yeah, that did something. Uh, actually, while well, I'm at it, gonna try shooting this gun at him. Nope, just kidding, that didn't work. Ow. Stop. Okay, see what this thing does. Shoot him in the eye. Oh, what is he doing? He's doing his thing again. I hear a lot of laser noises, and I definitely don't want to step out there when that's happening. Uh, there we go. Just fire all of those. Ow, 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 ow. 
This thing's slowly getting ammo back, but it's very, very slow. Uh, I don't know what to do. Definitely want to stop. Ow. Okay, something's hitting me sometimes. Oh, he has a lot of those. Okay. Yeah. Come out of a lot of different kinds of ammo. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be, like, hard or just, like, you know. The way that it currently it seems to be going is it's more, ow. It's more frustrating because I, I feel like I'm going to run out of ammo before I do anything else. Eyeball. He's level 33 and I'm level 36, so I definitely should be able to do this. It's a matter of... Ah, ha, stop. It's just a matter of getting him. Not running out of ammo before I do so. Like, try not to waste bullets now. I don't know if I was wasting bullets earlier, but now I'm really trying not to waste bullets. Yep, I reload again. Then he shoots his laser. I don't know if these things do damage to him. They, they seem to do something, maybe? I don't know. Glowy bits, though. Glowy bits is where you want to hit him. There's definitely lots of glowy bits on him right now. He's going to shoot at me again. Okay, well, definitely don't want to miss shots. Hey, I broke one of those things. Now I'm out of sniper ammo, but I have this thing, which, whatever, will do damage eventually. Um, should I look around for more ammo options? I guess so, right? Why not? Let's see what else we can find. Uh, I don't see many other am ammo options. That doesn't feel like there's much else I can do. Unless, like, nope. I really don't see anything. Um, I can try to throw grenades at him, though. But I don't know how close I'll have to get for that. Ow. Okay, definitely doesn't want me getting close. There we go. That was some ammo, which is nice. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to see if I can throw grenades. I'm doing my best to throw grenades. Okay, I'll save a couple of those in case they come in handy later. And... Come on. I'm so close. This really isn't much of a difficult fight. <sighs> Open your eye. There we go. Did it. Done. All right. That's a fight. Destroyed the destroyer. That's it for... Borderlands, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if there's anything after this. My goodness, that guy would not die, though. You opened the vault. Yay. I'm sorry I couldn't warn you about what was in it. But for you to be there to stop it, it couldn't have unfolded any other way. Okay. You did well, and your actions haven't gone unrewarded. The key won't open the vault for another 200 years, but I'm sure Tennis will pay you quite the fortune for it. Huh. Now go. I'll be watching. Oh. Uh, Angel was a satellite? Hyperion satellite? What? Is that Pandora? Oh, Pandora does not look good. It's like dirt in the atmosphere. Wow. What a reward. Clap trap, interplanetary ninja assassin. What? Is that the one that's in pre-sequel or what's the deal? Okay, that's it. It's credits. Um I don't I don't know what to say. Uh uh, I've played pre-sequel, I've played Borderlands 2, so I know where this goes. Um, I don't know if it's a spoiler, just a... probably is, <laughs> but... Um, a lot of people were disappointed by this ending when this game first came out, because uh, the vault was so hyped up. I don't know if you heard my knuckles cracking there, but... Um, the vault was so hyped up after all the other games that uh, when we finally got to see what it was, it was just a giant monster, and then we killed a giant monster, and it was a really boring fight, and then you get nothing out of it. Um, as you see, the game just ends. So, I don't know. Uh, it was supposed to be like riches, I guess. So maybe if we sold the vault key to Patricia, she'll give us a big reward. <laughs> um, which, when she said that, I was like, what kind of a big reward are we getting from Patricia Tannis? Uh, marriage vows? What? Um, uh, but she said she'll pay a fortune for it. So there you go. I think Patricia is in Borderlands 2. If I'm not mistaken, she goes to Sanctuary. Um, but, so this game has uh, lots of DLC in it. I don't know if lots is a good word, but it does have DLC in it. Uh, we sh I showed off the um, cutscenes for all of those, but I don't know if I'm going to be playing any of the DLC on the channel. I imagine I'll be playing them in my own time, maybe, for funsies, but um, 
I just kind of wanted this game to be just, you know, what it was. Uh, I was mainly trying to figure out what the story was in preparation for Borderlands 3, which Borderlands 3 came out so long ago at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, I know the series lasted a long time, but that was kind of the point, I guess. I originally started the series as just something I could do that I didn't think anyone would be uh, too worried about, like not getting at full speed or anything like that, because I doubt there's very much story. Um, it was just something I thought would be fun, and I think it was fun. I liked it. Uh, definitely made me appreciate like Borderlands 2 and stuff, like everything except for Borderlands 1 more, because um, there's definitely some weird stuff in this one, but it, you know, they're all kind of the same. I mean, it, you shoot a bunch of stuff, there's a little bit of story in between. Uh, Borderlands 2 and onwards have more voice acting, which is nice. And this one, I had to do most of the voicing myself. There's very little spoken by anyone else in this game, which is kind of weird. But, uh, I don't know. Here we are. End of the game. I mean, I don't really have anything to say. I played as Lilith. I actually um, played a little bit by myself as Mordecai. Um, but I don't even know how far I got. Not very far. I played it like once, I think, by myself as Mordecai. I've mostly just been doing this. Uh, but now it's over. I didn't know how long this game was going to be when I started it, and it turned out to be a good length. I mean, I don't know. I probably could have guessed it was this long, maybe. Um, I wasn't expecting some of the, like, padding there at the end. That was a little frustrating, but uh, I got past it, and so there you go. Here we are. And I don't know. The game isn't really about, like, you know, <laughs> padding in this game is sort of the point of the entire game. It's like a very basic RPG where you just run around and you shoot stuff and you have fun doing that. Um... So yeah, I understand when people don't really like these games too much, just because there isn't much to them. Uh, there's, you know, if you don't like the brand of humor, then you're not going to like the story, probably. Uh, because the story really just feels like nothing other than that. Nothing, you know, outside of the humor. Um, so, I don't know. I think it's fun. I guess I've enjoyed it for a while. Uh, I'm sure it's like hit and miss with everything, but, you know, I like the characters. The character designs are all really fun and cool and you know, everyone you meet, you like want to know more about. You're not going to learn anything about them because it's Borderlands. There isn't really anything to learn. It's just about different locations, different enemies, you know, shooting stuff. This game especially only had like five or six different enemy types, right? I mean, there was the Skags, there was Bandits, um, slash Mercenaries, slash Psychos. I don't know if those were all different people or those all kind of just felt the same. Uh, there's Spider Ants. There was the little Worm things, if you remember those. Um, and then there was the... There's the Guardians, there's the Rack, and is there anything else? I don't know. So what's that, like six to eight enemy types, depending on if Psychos, Mercenaries, and Bandits are three different enemy types or not. Um, so yeah, it just felt very, this felt very bare bones, but I feel like thanks to the Cheek and Crew, many thanks to the donations of Plano Donkfest. What in the world? Also thanks to the Cheese Curds and <laughs> Romaine and Ice Lettuce. Your mom, Ryan goes at. What is this? I missed something. Uh, my mom and dad for all their love and support. Oh, that's sweet. These are just like things they could put at the end. That's fun. For all their love and money support. That's good. Um, this is fun. Uh, that's the thing. I don't know. This game is just like simple, but I see why people want it more. Right? It's it's just kind of like anything just kind of makes it. I'm brought to you by the letter H and the number three point one four one five nine. Also pi. Mmm. That's good. I like these. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to like read all of these, but they go by way too fast. Can I move this any faster? Sometimes credits let you do that. No. Um, I imagine we're close to the end of the credits, though. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I get why like DLC for these games makes sense, and just like new games sort of are more graphic and like quality of life improvements. Because otherwise, it's just like you run around and you shoot stuff, and it's just kind of a fun, simple game to do that. This game is one of those that's um, conducive to playing with friends that sort of they encourage that and you of course enjoy it more that way because you know anything is more fun when you have someone to talk to I imagine but uh, these games I even play by myself and enjoy it and have fun um, but yeah when you're playing it uh, not while recording you kind of forget about all the like long running around that it, this game has I mean it's just padding right this these all these Borderlands games just involve a lot of you know running around doing nothing uh which can be good for like, you know, co-op playthroughs with friends where you have like lots of time to just talk um, and just kind of gives you something to do while you talk. But uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you can argue that a game's better because it this game works really well in a co-op experience. Um, I've heard the argument that like, oh, all games are better with friends, of course. But I feel like these games 
are sort of, you know, in understanding that games can be better with friends, they sort of provide an atmosphere that allows for gaming with friends to be uh, easier, I guess. I don't know. There's not a whole lot of co-op co games around anymore. Um, there's like A Way Out and uh, Brothers, I think, or two, two just, just two brothers. <laughs> I think it's called Brothers. Um, those were made by the same people. And they're two co-op experiences that have like lots of story and all that. But other the otherwise, you know, I don't know. You can play Call of Duty co-op and stuff. And Halo, I guess Adam told me that the Steam Halo games aren't co-op, so uh, that's unfortunate. But I guess on Xbox they are. Um, but yeah, Halo's always been a fun game to do co-op. I mean, there's I don't know. There just doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of good games where you can do co-op story adventure, right? I'm not talking like party games. Those don't count. Um, you know, same thing with like cook. What's that cooking game? I don't remember. Overcooked. Overcooked is another like, and uh, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, um, right? These are like co-op games that, um, uh, I guess Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time is kind of what I'm talking about, but, um, eh, maybe so is Overcooked. I don't know. I'm talking about like story focused games though, like Brothers, uh, or no, what isn't the what, called? It's like A Tale of Two Brothers or something like that. <laughs> I could not for the life of me think about it, but yeah, and then A Way Out and uh, those types of games even. And, you know, there's even more. You could play Knack 2. Knack 2 is co-op, I believe. Um, I did not play this co-op, as you noticed, because I expected to cut a lot of it out. Uh, oh, there's only two songs in this game? Ain't No Rest for the Wicked and No Heaven. Crazy. I don't even remember. When did No Heaven appear in the story? Was it towards the end there? I don't even know. Uh, well, anyway, point is, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to do something that I, you know, I knew I was going to have a lot to cut out, but I thought it'd be fun. So, oh. There's our Ninja Assassin robot from outer space. Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition development. Oh, so this actually, okay, there's more. Never mind. Oh, these are the people who worked exclusively on the Game of the Year version. So I guess they needed extra work done, which makes sense. I mean, everything was like upscaled and stuff like that. So all the credits up to this point was just the credits for the original base game. Um, yeah, the Enhanced Edition really didn't feel like too much was added. I mean, they took out a lot of the like glitches and stuff I guess and they seem to just kind of change the brightness or whatever I mean I've seen some of the original game and it just looked very like drab they kind of made all the colors uh stand out like the vibrance whatever was a bit better in this version um but I didn't play through the original you know all the way so who knows if you play through the original and you play through this one maybe you're like oh wow I can't believe they made all those changes but with a uh, this kind of art style you know there's not really much to do as far as like fixing stuff up it's more just like you know brightness vibrancy stuff like that make everything look more alive and less like dirty and dingy because this game came out with uh before even like skyrim i think um if i'm not mistaken when did this game come out originally i want to find that out whoopsie daisy sorry if i heard me hit the microphone uh oh there's an ombudsman i didn't i didn't know ombudsman were this like ubiquitous uh let's see release date just so we're all aware release 2009 okay so the other games that came out in 2009 were of course ones like trying to load yeah modern for two right exactly modern for two arkham asylum assassin's creed 2 uncharted 2 oh, apparently a lot of twos left for dead 2 so uh bayonetta the original bayonetta and brutal legend and the original infamous and resident evil 5 well, that's crazy. And Coraline, the video game, I guess. New Super Mario Brothers Wii prototype. Well, that's crazy. What a year. Fear 2, Halo 3 ODST, <laughs> Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. You know, the important ones. X-Men Origins Wolverine, the video game. I actually played a little bit of that. Call of Horrors Bound in Blood, which is not the one that we played. Uh, oh, that's interesting. The original Plants vs. Zombies? Oh, Demon Souls? That's crazy. Ultimate Alliance 2? There's a lot of games that came out this year. Dead Space Extraction. I don't even know what that is. Arma 2. I can't believe how many games came out this year. Astro Boy, the video game. And Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Wow. The video game. Okay. That was crazy. Um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> Modern Warfare 2. Uh, very dingy looking game. Although fun. I like it. Uh, story was, I mean, I don't know. It was probably early enough where you didn't get the Call of Duty... Uh, cycle down where you're just like oh yep the guy at the beginning is the bad guy and whatever like that kind of showed what the formula was going to be from there on i think i don't know they've mixed it up i mean the newer call of duty i think just called call of duty 
as like a reimagining of the original or it's like a prequel to the first Modern Warfare. I don't know. Uh, but that one seemed cool. I actually haven't gotten a chance to look into it too far. I would like to, though, if I can. Where are we? Are we in special thanks again? There's so many special thanks. Look at all these people. Who knew that there would be so many people involved with such an interesting project? As Borderlands came to the year edition. Which they didn't say enhanced. I don't know what the enhancements are versus the original. Maybe the game of the year edition. No, yeah, the game of the year edition, I think, just has all the DLC put into it. So we're just playing the enhanced edition, which is like a little brightness. So how did all these people work on the game of the year? I guess these are all the people that worked on the DLC and stuff. I didn't know that they took in this many new people. Uh, I assume we're in special thanks, right? I was not paying attention. I was too busy looking at video game stuff. There's the last guy, Adam Yabara. Well, thanks to you. Uh, this is the publishing for 2K. Wow, we're going to go all the way into 2K. Oh, 2K at one point in my life was my favorite video game company. They made, they owned, uh, or sorry, not 2K, but Take-Two Interactive. They own 2K and they own Rockstar. And Rockstar makes a bunch of good games like um, Red Dead Redemption, which I was a big fan of when it first came out. Although I never even finished it, so I don't know why I claim to be such a big fan of it. But it was interesting. It was definitely an interesting game. Uh, I never played the sequel to the sequel. <laughs> the Red Dead Redemption 2. Which is funny, because, you know, I think most people at this point know that Red Dead Redemption is the sequel to Red Dead Revolver. But then Red Dead Redemption 2 is like... I don't know, they could have called it like Red Dead, uh, I don't know, who knows, right? Red Dead Reminiscence, <laughs> Red Dead Reincarnated, I don't know. But uh, yeah, you went Red Dead Revolver, Red Dead Redemption, then Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> it's like, oh, the third game in the series. I, though, I don't know, is Red Dead Revolver still like canon to Redemption 2 and stuff like that? Like, did they just forget about that game when they made Redemption 2 or not i really don't know much about that um i never played revolver and i never played redemption 2 so there's really not any way for me to tell but now the borderlands is over the real question is what's next for zoinkmeister and the answer is i don't really know uh i would like to get more co-op stuff done um so like finishing off uh resident evil 5 and finishing off doom of course and uh then past that um demo reel hopefully can make a couple more episodes again because it's been a while um i think i don't know uh i talked about this at the end of star wars but this might come out before the end of star wars for all i know so i'll talk about it here um i while i had been uploading star wars my schedule uh when i timed it out it took me five hours including recording rendering uploading and editing of star wars um so like adding up the amount of time per week with the scheduling i was doing which was like five or six videos a week um which would be like one of two one or two of those would be borderlands and then the other uh four of those would be star wars um that would take up like 24 hours out of my week plus you know 40 hours to work and then like whatever 36 hours or so to sleep uh meant that i only had 24 hours left for the rest of my days rest of my week you know that includes driving and sleeping and showering and <laughs> brushing my teeth or you know whatever eating um so i had very little free time uh with that schedule so i'm not gonna be doing that schedule anymore um the schedule is gonna persist with uploading a video every even day of the month as i have been doing but i'll no longer upload that second star wars video on monday through thursday um that are also even days so uh, that doesn't affect this series of course this series wasn't doing that uh, this series was just the even day uploads um but I do plan on hopefully getting into uh, um, what's called there's LibriVox.org if you haven't heard of it. Uh, I want to try volunteering. I want to see what that looks like. I haven't done it yet. I'm sure I'll do an update or something on the channel if I actually get something out there through that. But uh, it's basically free audiobooks done by volunteers for um, uh, any book that is free use in the United States. Then um, you can volunteer to read an audiobook version of it. And so uh, anyone can enjoy for free um, audiobook versions of books that should be free. So it's I think it's a cool idea and something that I'd like to try out, at least with the extra time that I have now that I'm not doing Star Wars. So uh, it's kind of interesting. I, you know, if this series finishes before Star Wars, I can tell you that I actually finished playing Star Wars before I finished playing this game. But uh, it's because I played a whole lot more Star Wars because it comes out more often. And that's it. I think we're at the end of the credits. Woo! <gasps> Oh, wow. That's a lot of chests. Let's open these up. 
Woo! 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 Look at all that loot. Uh, and this thing. So we'll read that, but let's... Woo! Uh, do I have space for all this? Um, no, I don't. All right, well, that's unfortunate. But we're gonna grab all this ammo, I guess. Why not? And let's see what some of this stuff is. Got a Jacob's sniper rifle. Looks like a pretty strong gun. It's even stronger than this Atlas gun. Uh, I'd like to hit something with that. <laughs> it's too bad I don't have anything less to shoot. Uh, terrible shotgun, of course. Probably not gonna keep that orange rarity terrible shotgun. Uh, more of these, which I never use. But that's okay, they're there. Keep grabbing that ammo again. Definitely need all the ammo I can get. Uh, shield I don't need. And a bunch of class mods that aren't any use to me. That's okay. Um, this one might have been good. Who knows? I don't really use that type of class mod anymore. Orange Rarity Rocket Launcher, finally, the, what we've all wanted all along. Oh, this one's by Gearbox? Oh, what? Gearbox makes Borderlands, by the way, um, if you weren't aware. So I'm definitely going to sell that other one, right? So this Orange Rarity Rocket Launcher, Hive Mind, has the flavor text, that's going to leave a marks, which, hilarious joke. It does 300% burst fire count, which is already written there. And it looks like a strong rocket launcher. So yeah, every time you fire this, it shoots three times. Um, but you can melee or reload, and that'll stop it from firing three times. So if I do that, or if I do that, oh, I meant to do, well, whatever. See, if you have to reload, it stops it, of course. Um, there's this, which don't I already have that? Yeah, I do. 101110 cannon. Is that different? Yeah, this one just does less damage. So not that useful. And I'm full anyway. So there you go. Uh, these things I think I can... Nope, I can't use them. Uh, do they sell for a lot? Not really. Uh, and there's more stuff over here. So, mm, let's drop a bunch of stuff. Oh, and there's even more over here. Jeez, who knew there was so much in this game? Alright, I dropped all my white rarity stuff. Uh, and, uh, I can still probably pick up a couple more things, but I don't think it matters. So that's it. That's all I get. I got a really cool rocket launcher, I guess. That's your reward for beating the game is just just that and this sniper rifle that i would like to hit something with but probably won't get the opportunity to uh well that's life yes that's just the way these things go sometimes so let's turn in this final mission because i imagine that's important i don't know where i'm going to be turning this in though uh the underpass of course where else would i turn it in silly human where else would i be turning this in oh patricia am i turning this into patricia did I forget to grab the key? I think I did. Shoot. Oh, gosh dang it. Oh, I can teleport straight to the vault. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay. Did I pick up that thing that was right here? Did I read it when I picked it up? <sighs> All right. Well, I'll have to probably read that in post because it's gone now. Ah. Gosh dang it. Oh, well. Shoot. That's annoying. That's okay. I'll read it in post. Hey, this is future Patrick. Um, Real quick. This is the vault key. Bring the vault key to Tannis. This thing has certainly caused its share of trouble. There you go. That's my reading and post. All right. Um, underpass. Let's turn this under Patricia Tannis. The final mission. The final piece of resistance. As I don't even know what that means or why anyone would say that. It's probably from something. But I'm not cultured enough to know where it's from. Uh, facing enemies at this point would feel weird. But, you know, I have a sniper rifle to use, I guess, and a rocket launcher. So if I do see something, I'll say something. Yeah, see, there's a guy. Let's see how much damage this does. 6,470 damage. Lots and lots of damage. Uh, it's probably one of the highest damage things I ended up finding. And then, just so we know, this is what this does. Wow. Big damage. I mean, to be fair, these guys are very low level. But still, at least we get to know. Um, as far as fighting these... That, as far as fighting these things go... I mean, I don't know what level they are. It's probably not worth it. I just want to turn this final mission in. Let's see. What, what level are they? 21? No. Let's get out of here. I want to see what this final mission does. It might be something cool. Who knows what Patricia has to say to us. Could be anything. Could be even something interesting. Let's see. Oh, and I should probably show off. Uh, this is my end game build loadout. In case you were wondering what I did. I did that. And uh, yeah, this last mission is of course the um, DLC. So like I said, I don't know if we'll be getting into that. But let's see what Patricia has to say for herself. You smell oddly. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'm from off planet, but whatever. Thank you for bringing this to me. This cash sum should cover the hardships you've endured and ensure your continued silence. The key won't work again for hundreds of years, but I must keep it from falling into the wrong hands. In the meantime, I will continue my research. 
It appears that there is more to be learned from the Iridians than weaponry and spaceships. Cool. That's it. We should talk again. We should, Tan Patricia. Maybe in the next game. But for now, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this series of Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition for the PC. And I hope you come back to see whatever I end up doing next. Um, you know, series is over, channel isn't. Classic spiel. And, uh, yeah, you know, everything will keep going on. Just won't be Borderlands. <laughs> we'll have to get into something else. Hopefully enjoy it. Hopefully find something good, you know. You never know. Um, but to anyone who stuck with this series and watched me the whole way through, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, your support it means a lot to me. It's the reason I make these, pretty much. Because otherwise, I could play games much faster in my free time than uh, the double length of time it takes to actually get these things finally produced. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, T-Bone Junction. Oh, no. Absolutely not. I'm trying to get to... Where am I trying to get to? New Haven. That's right. Um, yeah. I mean, that's it. Uh, if you like the video, you know, like, whatever. I mean, I prefer if you leave a comment and say something like, hey... I enjoyed the series, you know, thank you for going through it and uh, saying hello and all that. Um, I thought you were supposed to get golden keys with this version of the game, but I guess not. Um, yeah, if you if you want to see more of me, just come back to the channel for now. Eventually, uh, maybe you can find me on LibriVox if you like audiobooks. But until then, um, this is Zwinkmeister Patrick signing off from Borderlands Forever. So long. Actually, we're going to do one last thing. And that last thing is to shoot a claptrap. So I'm out. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. <laughs>